Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. This is a follow-up video to the two videos I did. I need to keep my big mouth shut and I'm really struggling right now. I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what's happening. As many of you know, I do struggle with the disease to please and being so social that I have many people in my life and basically I end up spending so much time and energy working on pleasing others and defending and explaining myself. Also, I basically end up in conversations that I don't need to have any part of. And I know I've spoken to you guys about these issues that I've had. Well, I have been making improvements along the way, and so I'm very pleased about that. And I wanted to share with you guys some things that I'm doing. The first thing that I am doing is I'm spending more time alone. I know I've talked to you guys about this before. I've been reading about two books a month now for several months. Some are personal books, some are self-help, and I've been really enjoying that. But even though I do need to spend time helping take care of my family and work, I do have time where I have free time. And I'm thinking, how do I want to spend that free time? So I'm spending some of my free time reading. I'm also spending some of my free time taking a course that I found that's offered free and it is on a course on happiness and I'm learning about that and it's really interesting and it has quizzes along the way and so I'm really enjoying that. So basically spending more time to re-energize because many times because I speak to a lot of people work related and personal related I can end up feeling really drained because I speak to so many people that I just need more time to just regroup and refocus. Let me know if any of you feel that way. Number two, and I've really gotten a lot better on this, I really am spending more time thinking before I speak. You all know that I'm very talkative, and that's great to be talkative, but I really believe that God wants me to work on my listening skills, and it's very wise to do so. And so I, I imagine that God is standing next to me holding one hand, and then with his other hand, he's holding it over my mouth saying, Shh, you don't need to say that. And so with that, I am asking myself when someone talks, do I need to respond or get myself involved in whatever? Can I just simply listen? And I know I'm doing a good job because I recently had someone say, Dawn, you're not responding. And I said, oh, I'm just listening. And so I don't always need to give a response to everything. I can just sit quietly. Sometimes no response in silence is the best response. And number two, basically, I'm thinking before I want to share anything. And it could be from, hey, what book am I reading or what class I'm taking? Before I share anything, I'm thinking to myself, do I really want to share this? Because each person's different. And if I share this, is it going to bring a bunch of questions? Or are they, is it something that someone can bring up later? So I'm really thinking, what things do I feel are acceptable to share? and what things are not acceptable to share. And so I'm really learning a lot and I'm keeping so much more to myself and I feel much more at peace with that. Now, regarding phone calls, I mentioned this a long time ago. I have a dear friend of mine that told me this. She said, Dawn, I know you work from home and you talk to many of your fabulous mystery shoppers, which I do and I really enjoy working with them. I cannot say enough nice things about the industry. That being said, I get kind of tired from being on the phone for long periods of time sometimes. And so she said, I know you have some friends that have a gift to gab that call you quite often. She said, if you think about it, if you have four friends that have a gift to gab and they call you every day, you could literally be on the phone three hours a day with personal calls. And that is so true. So what I'm kind of doing right now is realizing not every phone call can get a return call because there isn't enough time in the day for me to return every call and be on a long conversation with each person. And that I'm gonna just have to let that go and be okay with that because I've got a lot of things that I'm busy with in my life. And so not returning every phone call, that's number one. Also, with that being said, if, if I need to be in the right mindset to return a phone call, if it's something that might be really draining to me and just drain a lot of my energy or it's something that I know that that person may be kind of negative, I have to be in the right mindset to be able to return that call. And so that's something that I really want to think about each and every day about am I really in the mindset to make this phone call right now? And that's something that I think would be helpful for all of us. 
And then with all that being said is how much time do I want to allot every day for personal calls? I have some fabulous people in my life and you all, many of you know who you are that I really enjoy talking to because the conversation is light and positive and I go away feeling really good. But then there's other conversations with other folks that are really heavy and it's just, I go away just feeling drained. And I kind of want to limit those calls and do more self-care and think about that. And last but not least, I really need to be more cautious and I've really worked on this to be careful of who is in my inner circle. Think of it as an umbrella with all these spokes. You have some people that are on the outside and they're very friendly and very nice and there's nothing wrong with that. But how many people do you want to let in your inner circle that you want to be really close to? And I noticed something. Many of the people that I notice that are some of the happiest, most peaceful people, and I'm just noticing this, are people that are introverts, introverts and people that are living life on their terms because they don't have to answer to anybody for anything. They have no obligations and they're just enjoying life. And I want to pick up some of those fabulous skills. So I wanted to mention that basically we don't need everyone's opinion about how we're living our life. And these are things that are going to be a daily practice in my life. I'm a work in progress. And so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I want you guys to know something. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I also appreciate the time you take out of your day to watch these videos because your time, no matter what you're doing, whether you're retired or working full time, your time is valuable and I truly value you. That's all for now. At the end of this video, you'll see some other videos that I've done before on I'm really struggling and I, and I need to keep my big mouth shut. If you're interested, please refer to those videos because it may help you understand this video a little bit more. That's all for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.